Hi, Mark Gordon with Golden Ticker on Monday, May the 7th. Uh, this is a silver report. This is the SLV, the uh, silver ETF, down about 1.7% right now. Um, getting hammered again today. Uh, we're clearly in a downtrend here, and I've drawn some trend lines here. Uh, this is a downward sloping flag formation, and uh, the next stop here will be this lower trend line coming in at about, uh, I don't know, 28 and a quarter, something like that. So uh, clearly, um, uh, you know, making another fresh low here, uh, taking out this previous break low right here, and uh, moving down. So let's see what happens uh, at about the 28 to 25 level. And nothing on this chart looks good for silver. Uh, we're down below all the key moving averages. Um, right here, uh, this uh, gray line here is the 10-day moving average, clearly below that. Um, that had offered uh, some uh, overhead resistance, uh, which we could not get through. And right above that is the red line, which is the 21-day moving average. And then above that is the 100, the green dotted line. And then the 50-day is the blue line here. And then up here is the 200-day, this black dotted line. All of these moving averages are pointed to the downside. So clearly, um, uh, just getting hammered here. Moving on down to some technical indicators. Uh, one bright spot is that the stochastics are now down below 20. Um, that uh, would indicate an oversold condition here. But uh, markets can uh, move lower and do move lower in oversold conditions sometimes, especially when the stochastics go sideways like it did here in March. And once you get under the uh, uh, 20 mark on the stochastics for uh, three days or more, uh, you can get into what's called a locked-in down situation. So the markets could really run to the downside in that point. Uh, our next uh, area of resistance, other than this lower trend line, would be uh, these previous lows back here at uh, <coughs> 2783 and uh, also down here at 2565. So let's hope that doesn't happen for silver. And moving on now to a weekly chart of silver, you can see this downward sloping wedge formation here. Um, you can also see uh, that we, uh, uh, we're making a cup formation here, and then look like we're going to put in a handle, but that handle is breaking down. Perhaps we'll be forming a new base here. Um, we're not forming the right side or upside of any kind of a base here yet, so um, markets uh, silver clearly in a downtrend and uh, of course down below all these major weekly moving averages as well. One thing you want to notice is that the blue line, the 10 week moving average, has now crossed below the 20 week. And that's a death cross there, uh, not a great sign for traders here. And then moving on down to technical indicators, uh, you can see that the stochastics are in the oversold uh, condition on a weekly chart as well. And uh, the MACD, the moving average convergence, the uh, black line, the faster moving average, is below the slower line. So nothing really looking good for silver at all. And moving on to a monthly chart, um, we can see that silver topped out last year in, uh, in March and has been in a downward uh, trending motion uh, ever since on the monthly chart. Uh, you can see uh, that um, uh, we have now lived uh, down here uh, three months um, below. Well, this, we, could, we could count this. This is right on it. But this is the 20-month moving average, this uh, green dotted line. And uh, we've uh, now been uh, below here for two months, possibly three months here. And uh, this is not a good sign. Uh, anytime you close below the 20-month moving average, your longer-term traders say that you're in a bear market. And you can see that the 10-month has crossed the 20-month here, something that hasn't happened uh, since uh, um, way back here in uh, late 08 uh, during that bear market there. So clearly, um, uh, 2565 uh, is a very important point here. Um, we do have this uh, black dotted line, the 40-month moving average, coming up here to maybe offer some support should we try to go down and re-challenge that low. That is not something out of the question. Markets like to do that, like to put in a low and then come back and re-challenge those. So don't be surprised if we go back down in the 2565 area. So silver back in a bear market. Thanks for listening and good luck.